here's what was a, what did you call it when it's more of a rock thing? You're moving with major chords. Oh, I call them wandering majors. Wandering majors. Yeah, you know, there's actually a theory behind it, but I, it's so. You really have to have a Zen mind to understand it. It gets really kind of weirdly abstract. You know, okay. music has this bizarro circular logic that people don't quite, okay. you know, they have a hard time with. I'll see if I can explain it. Well, you, I, you used to play an example. There's an example of it or something that you played, I think. Well, you could take scale steps, you know, like with major chords. You can't do this with minor, it'll sound awful. But with major, for some reason, it sounds good. My belief is because... With a major chord, with the high harmonics, you eventually get a flatted seventh, so it's like a seventh chord. And seventh okay. chords, I've always said, are unstable. Not not unstable, but they feel restless and want to move. Okay. Which is why the blues is so poignant, because you resolve on a on a chord that wants to move, like that isn't quite yeah. resolved, you know. But that's the beauty of it, you know, in that case. <laughs> like, I have days where I am kind of a seventh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> There's, there's, I just did a, oh, sorry. This is the second step. What I'm doing, basically, is a Dorian scale, okay. all right? Because essentially, these wandering majors are related to blues, for one thing. Okay. Um, and... They have to be minor. The scale itself has to be minor. The chords themselves are major. The scale has to be minor. Okay, I don't get this. But, all right. Now, I'm, uh, in other words, I am using a major chord as, as my basis for every motion I'm making. Right. right. But the actual root of each chord is taking a step of the minor Dorian scale. Okay. All right. Am I losing you there? A little bit, but uh, that helps a little, yeah. Uh, if I did major, it just wouldn't sound good. Uh, uh. It just doesn't sound okay. right, right? But if I go... It could work, right? Like a who number, almost? Ex exactly. One of the big things they were doing back in rock music is intuitively they were figuring out that you could just move major chords around and it kind of worked for some reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> the example I always give, but this is theoretically uh, very, very explainable, but um, uh, I forget the name of the song. So you have 4, 5, 1, and C. chords moving yeah. around and it's beautifully okay. done yeah. like really really nice yeah you know the rock guys were doing that a lot okay you know they didn't know what they were doing they just kind of hunted and packed but they found something yeah ain't nothing wrong with that you know? well for that for, for a lot of the who stuff which is really kind of anthemic sort of things a uh, little all um, majoring uh, bordering on bombast it worked right. fine yeah yeah, I, I'm not a big Roger Daltrey fan I don't know what the appeal is I thought he was a lousy singer and, and like I didn't like his charisma on stage <laughs> either, but whatever. You know. <laughs> the chicks dug him. Uh, all right, so yeah, wandering major. So basically, I mean, for all intents and purposes, think of a minor scale. All right, the relative minor scale you could think of, like the Aeolian scale, but raise the sixth. So oh, oh, do I raise the sixth? No, I'm wrong about that. It's an Aeolian scale. It's the regular natural minor scale. Okay. Um, the only chord I don't like in the whole series is two. I like to flat it. Play it on flat. Play it on flat. That's just me. I mean, you know, yeah. and that in that case, it's a. Uh, I 
bottom. It's the uh, Phrygian scale in that case, which is also minor. Okay. Phrygian. I lost you on that, I know. Phrygian and fun to say, because it could also be flowers. 